KidsDrumAndGlensons.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to enhance fills that you already know and make them your own. Now I know some of you guys might be thinking, well he's only 10 and what does he know? Now seriously, um, <laughs> this is true, you can learn something new from anybody. So let's get into the fills. Now the first fill is a Jerome Flood fill, or at least that's how I learned it. Um, and here's the sticking. Right kick, right left kick, right left kick. Very simple, but uh, this is how he played it. Now, the first thing I decided to do is I asked myself, what if I diddled the first kick? And I came up with this. And then, what I did was I decided to make this a measure long fill, so we would have to play it four times, and on the third time, I would revert, reverse the orchestration. So this is what it would sound like in a groove. Now this fill is coming from a man, Juan Mendoza. This is a actually pretty cool linear fill. And uh, here's what it is. It's kick right left, right left left. Now what I did, the first thing I did was I took the first two notes and put them left right instead of right left. And then, the other three notes in the fill, instead of right, left, left, I put left, left, right. So, also, what I did was I put some accents on there. On the first stroke, I put, I put an accent, and on the last stroke, I put an accent. So, this is what it would sound like, very slow. Alright, now I'm going to move that around and play it a way faster in a groove. Now the key to doing this is just being creative. Can I diddle this? Can I reverse the sticking? Can I reverse the orchestration? Can I move the orchestration? I mean, it's very cool and there's so many different variations that you can do with this. So, I hope you guys liked it and thanks for watching.